Hello friends, good morning, welcome back to another children's message video. If you haven't seen the videos before, my name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. And this is how I will be delivering my children's messages for the foreseeable future. <laughs> uh, but today we are going to be talking about trust. We're talking about the story of Abraham and Isaac and Abraham's trust in God and Isaac's trust in Abraham. So uh, grab the kids, get a comfy seat, uh, and hang out for the next few minutes with me and let's talk about trust. Okay, so like I said just a second ago, we are talking about trust, specifically trusting in God. And we have a great story covering all that today, but before we start the story, I wanted to ask you a question. Who do you trust and why do you trust that person? I have an example. I trust my parents a lot. And the reason that I trust them is because I know them really well. I've known them my entire life. Uh, they raised me and now I don't, I don't even live with them anymore, but every time I'm with them, I know that they love me and that they are doing the, the most <laughs> possible to, for my well-being. And I know when they speak to me, they're telling me the truth. So think of those people in your life that you trust and why do you trust them? The biggest reason that we trust those people, whether they're our parents, our siblings, our grandparents, or our friends, the reason that we trust all those people is because we know them, right? And we know that they will tell us the truth. Hopefully we have friends that tell us the truth. It's important in a relationship. So today's Bible lesson is about Abraham and Isaac, and it's all about trust. Abraham was Isaac's dad. Abraham and Sarah were almost 100 years old when they had Isaac. Um, we've talked about this story before. Um, God told Abraham that he was going to have lots of grandchildren and great-grandchildren and on and on and on through his son Isaac. Isaac was an important person to Abraham. One day, God spoke to Abraham. He told him to take his son Isaac up to the mountain um, and to give God the thing that he loved more than anything, which was his son Isaac. So Abraham took Isaac and they started up the mountain. And on their third day up the mountain, Abraham told Isaac that they were going to build the altar and, and offer a sacrifice to the Lord. And Isaac looked around at what they had with them and he said to Abraham, Okay, we have the fire and the wood, but we don't have the lamb for the offering. And Abraham just answered his son and he said, God will provide the lamb. So they kept going um, and they finally got to the place where God told them to go. And Abraham and Isaac built the altar and they arranged the wood. And Abraham was ready to give God the thing that he loved the most. But just then... Abraham looked up and he saw a ram caught by his, thorn, his horns in, in a bush. Uh, and so Abraham used that ram as a sacrifice to God. Abraham totally had faith in God and trusted him completely. And God provided the lamb for the offering. Isaac had total faith in his father and what he had told him and trusted him completely. And God provided for them both with the, the ram for the offering, just as Abraham had told Isaac that God would. So, when we put our trust in God, he always provides. There's story after story in the Bible that when we put our trust in God, he provides. Abraham had to put his trust in God quite a few times, and every single time God provided for him. He provided him a son, and then in this story, he provided him a ram for an offering. So that's an important lesson for us to remember as well. When we put in our trust in God, he provides for us. When we're scared or we don't know what's going to happen in the future, the one thing that we can do, which, by the way, gives us peace, gives us the peace of God, is by putting 
our trust in God. Because God knows, he knows us, we know God, and he knows what's best for us and what we need, and he will always provide for us what we need, right? So keep that in mind. I know the times are weird right now, and we don't really know what's gonna happen in, in the near future and even some in the distant future, but that's life too. We don't know what's gonna happen 10 years from now or 20 years from now. But what we can do is trust in God, like Abraham and Isaac did. Okay, uh, let's pray, and then I'm going to let you guys go enjoy your Sunday morning. So please fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me, and let's pray. Dear God, help us, like Abraham, to trust you in everything that we do, because we know that... Uh, when we trust in you, you provide for us. You know us in and out. You know exactly what we need at any given moment. So help us to trust you and provide, and please provide for us for what, with what we need. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, uh, I'll let you go enjoy your Sunday morning. If you haven't yet, don't forget to check out the online worship on our Facebook and website, pplc.org. If you're not quite ready to go into in-person worship on Sunday mornings, check that out. Uh, okay, have a great Sunday morning. See you next time. Bye.